Yo! Alright, mom, dad, alright, this is where you find out that your boy is a man, okay? Uh, today, officially, I'm a man because I'm 18, but you know, at the time, I wasn't. But I was doing manly things. So she said, okay, so I gotta teach you a lot. You're gonna learn how to aggressively and gracefully rearrange my guts. Oh! I kid you not. I kid you not. I'm not joking. I swear, I swear, I swear on everything. I swear on everything. So she asked me, have I ever given a freaky paragraph? And I said, yeah. So I was like, what, you wanna give each other one? And then she was like, yeah, you go first. So yeah, we exchange, we exchange paragraphs. So day room, y'all. That, like, that's, that's OD day room. Like, who, who does that anymore? Like, I can't, uh, I didn't even have a bed. I had an air mattress. I had an air mattress. So yeah, I was getting busy on an air mattress. What matters is the job got done. Don't matter if it was on the floor, uh, air mattress, uh, a rock. It doesn't matter. The job got done. It was real awkward. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I didn't know, should I just get straight to it? Should I be trying to have like a conversation? Like, what, like, how, did, how does this go? Like, how? How am I gonna get this done? Like, where does it start and how does it finish? Like, I didn't know, I'm a virgin. I was going to pound town for like probably a few minutes and she was just like, she just, she tapped out, man. She tapped out. So that right there let me know like, like, damn, did I really just deliver like that on my first time? Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Yo! What's going on, Shalom Steven? Steven? I'm back with another video. I'm back with another story time. You guys enjoyed the last story time, and that story time was spicy. This one might be a little bit more spicy. I know you see the title. I know you see the title, yes. You're gonna get exactly what you came for today. So before we even get started today, guys, I need you guys to do me a favor. If y'all are really rocking with me, I need you guys to go follow me on Twitter and Instagram right here, right here, boom, 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 right there, right there, all right? Right now, go pause the video, pause the video right now, and I need you guys to go follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Sha underscore Williams 17 is right there, go ahead. Also, if you didn't already, go ahead and like this video right now because I'm positive that you're gonna enjoy this. So go ahead and give this video a thumbs up because it definitely helps this channel in terms of its growth. And you know, we trying to get to 1K. 700 first, but 1K on the way, all right? <laughs> Anyways, I don't want to talk your heads off too much. Let's just get straight into it. So first off, I want to just say that like my parents already know. My parents watch my videos. They watch all my videos. My family members watch my videos. Little siblings, whatever. But most importantly, my parents watch my videos, but they already know about the situation. They don't know the details necessarily, but they know what happened. They know what went down. So it might be kind of weird speaking about this and going in depth, but what's the worst that can happen, right? We all, it, it happens to all of us, you know? Eventually, I mean, how did I get here? All right, anyways, where do I start? So I'm gonna start by letting you guys know that I'm not gonna name any names. I don't want this person's name to be out there. You know, I'm just gonna say, uh, damn, I can't think of a name. Am I, am I, am I like thinking too much about this right now? I'm overdoing it. Let's go with Jessica, all right, Jessica. Now, first off guys, I wanna let it be known that I've known Jessica since middle school. Um, I didn't really know Jessica on a personal level because Jessica was in a grade higher than me when we were in the same school. So I knew her, but we didn't have any kind of friendship. But here's the catch. She was the best friend to one of my cousins in my school. So later on in the video, you're gonna see how all of that just comes, just ties together and comes into place. Now I wanna let you guys know that I was only 14. This was three years ago. I was only 14 at the time, freshly 14. Like I'm talking like a few weeks, 14 years old. So keep this in mind, guys. I want you to keep this in mind and remember this. Anytime I tell this story, I forget to mention this part first, which always jumbles up the story when I mention it later. So for the video, I'm making sure to tell you guys this way before I tell you anything else. So I don't know when, just a random time, right? I'm on my phone, I'm on Snapchat, and I get a new friend request on Snap. So I see the name and I can't really point out who it may be. Like I said, guys, this is three years ago. I don't remember, but I think it was, I either said it was added by search 
or Snapco, most likely it said it was added by search. So that means that she either got my Snap name from somebody or she seen it somewhere and added me. So I couldn't point out who it was, but I added her back anyways. All right, so I got my phone with me, okay? I just came up with this. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna use my phone so I can tell you guys exactly what was said and how this how this came to be. So I'm not screen recording anything because you know Snap is a op. These goddamn fireworks, bro. Like, let me do my video. Let me do my video, all right? Chill out. So yeah, like I said, I'm not screen recording anything because Snap is a op and I still got this person as a friend on Snapchat and Facebook and whatever. So on Snap, you know how when you view your friendship and it says you've been friends with this person since whenever. So it says we've been friends since June 19th, 2017, okay? So she added me that day and she also texted me first on that day. She said, hey. I said, hey, who's this? She said, LOL, I'm cousin's friend i'm not saying no names i said oh, okay i ever seen you before she said yeah i went to my middle school i'm not gonna say it she said i went to i may seem a little different looking to you i said you got facebook she said yeah i said what is it and then she told me her facebook name i looked it up i was like oh okay so now i know who i'm talking to a couple days later we had like you know regular conversations or whatever you know i'm just talking to her like i really didn't i didn't know her like that but it was just you know i'm being nice i'm being friendly i'm just talking to her or whatever then comes june 27th the day that really you know boosted all of this like put the fuel to the fire or the fire i didn't know what was coming yet but it really started everything so i'm gonna put the specific snaps on the screen of the day of the snap that she slid up on that you know got all of this started now don't be cutting my ass because my hair was low and you know i was looking i don't know i'm so glad i'm so thankful for my hair nowadays you know i'm so thankful but that's not the point so you can see the snap that's playing on the screen right now and she slid up on that snap and said put a shirt on lmao crying emoji i said lmao nah i'm gangsta she said you pussy. I said, chill, I'll mess you up. She said, mess me up how, LMAO. I'm not gonna lie, like I wasn't really pursuing anything. I wasn't trying to really get anything. I don't know this girl like that, you feel me? So I wasn't really trying to, you know, get there. You know what I'm talking about? I wasn't really trying to... I wasn't trying to do that, I wasn't trying to do that. But my mouth is just naturally like slick and I said a lot of ways. And she said, you're not ready, Munchkin. Munchkin, okay. I said, what you mean? She said, you can't mess with my guts. By the way, y'all, I'm not capping. Like, I'm literally reading the messages off of my phone right now. I just don't want to screen record because Snap be snitching on you. So you see, I'm not lying, okay? I'm not lying. You can see, these are the messages and I'm reading them. I'm just blocking the person's name. I have no reason to lie to you guys, all right? So like I said, she said, you're not ready, Munchkin. I said, what you mean? Like, she's trying to play me. You call me a Munchkin, all right? Remember, she said that. So I said, what you mean? She said, you can't mess up my guts. She said, I can't mess up her guts. All right, mom, dad, all right, this is where you find out that your boy is a man, okay? Uh, today, officially, I'm a man because I'm 18, but you know, at the time, I wasn't. But I was doing manly things. I did some manly stuff, all right? You're just going to have to find out the detailed way today, okay? It's all right. It was going to happen eventually. That After that little, you know, little flirt session or whatever you know little slick talk we had a little regular conversation throughout the day you know chilling like i said i don't really know this girl so this is where i'm like really kind of getting to know her like that i guess but after the regular talk that night is when things got like you know real spicy you know when they say like the freaks come out at night yes sir they do they do so you know we over here talking about her sweet 16 and then she goes she goes quick question i say yeah ask she says how well is your foreplay i'm not gonna lie i remember this i did not yo i did not <laughs> i'm sorry today i could laugh i could laugh at my younger self because you know today i'm more experienced i did not know what foreplay was so i googled it i remember i googled it all right so i was like like kissing and etc i'm a great kisser but i never you know to be pg gave oral or you know a girl before but i could try my best <laughs> look at this dude yo oh my god this is kind of like a reaction video at the same time like reacting to my younger me and his slick talk i don't like i get mm, ugh. It's kind of cringy to be honest so yeah she started talking about all the things that she would want in a boy you know her last relationship how you know things ain't go too right and all of that 
and at that point i felt like you know by the things that were said before that you know like i don't really care about what's going on not to be mean like you telling me all of this i don't really know you like that but we already had that conversation so that's what my mind is on you feel me we already had that little talk or whatever you know because now you got me you got my little uh 14 year old hormones ready to go so i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie i was going along with it you know i was swaying her a little bit but i was trying not to say too much sweet stuff to make it seem like you know okay yeah you want all this in the boy I could be that boy because I didn't want to be that boy. Mind you, I did not know her like that. I, I, I could see where it was kind of going and I, I didn't want it to go there. But I was kind of swaying it enough to, you know, get a little closer to get where I wanted to get. So fast forward in the conversation later on, you know, she goes, if my next boyfriend is like that, you know, talking about the type of boy that she wants, you know? Yeah, so she goes, my next boyfriend is like that. I swear he will be so lucky to have me because the treatment that he's going to get is phenomenal. Phenomenal, okay? All right, I was kind of tongue, I was about to tongue twist a little bit. So, you know, here I am trying to sway the conversation. I'm not trying to get into that boyfriend, oh, you know, type of talk. I'm not trying to get into it. I'm trying to get to the other stuff, feel me? All right, so I'm like, I'm sure you give it good. She was like, great with the little star, you know, like correcting me, like, okay, I got you, I feel you. I said, never met a girl that was freakier than me. And that's a fact, up until then, I have not met no one freakier than me. I'm sorry, mom and dad, yes, I get a little freaky sometimes. It's natural for a teenage boy, all right? Excuse me, please. Then she said, LMFAO, well, you should be glad that you met me. I said, oh my Lord. She said, I like to try new things all the time. She was telling me like all her fantasies and stuff. I was like, oh, this is at 10 something in the night, okay? This is not really the lonely hours where you know you're by yourself and you, you know you start thinking about stuff. It was the pre-lonely hours. It was, you know, where we're going into it. So you telling me this is like, it already feels like the lonely hours where my hormones are messing with me. So she's telling me all her fantasies and I'm like, Damn, you crazier than me, right? Swaying, okay? Swaying and still in the moment too, like, damn, okay? All right, you swaying me, you swaying me as well, all right? I'm not gonna lie, she was swaying me as well. All right, so I'm gonna just fast forward a little bit more. She said, I promise you, I'm reading you word for word in these messages, okay? So she said, okay, so I gotta teach you a lot. You're gonna learn how to aggressively and gracefully rearrange my guts. I, I kid you not. I kid you not. I'm not joking. I swear. I swear. I swear on everything. I swear on everything. Yo. Oh my gosh, bro. Bro, I was bad at this, bro. This is so cringy. I'm starting to sweat too, bro. Like this, how cringy and embarrassing my talk was, my game was at this time. I was like, LMFAO. Hopefully, I can last long enough to do that for my first time. All right, all right, so after that, here's where things, you know, we about to establish, you know, that we're gonna do it. Now, mind you, this is over the summer. No, this is like about when school was just, just finished. It was either about to finish or it had just like, you know, we had just finished school. Around that time, so she asked me, have I ever given a freaky paragraph? And I say, yeah. So I was like, what, you wanna give each other one? And she was like, yeah, you go first. So I ain't gonna lie, I said some wild stuff like i was talking about stuff i never even did before but you know i was just like you know i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that and she was like i think i like what i said i over exceeded what i could have said to you know sway her enough so i over swayed her you get what i'm saying and she sent one back and that was enough for me too so yeah we exchanged we exchanged paragraphs so day room y'all like that's that's od day room like who who does that anymore like i can't I, so you know after we exchanged paragraphs and all of that i was like i've been waiting for a girl at my level or freakier she said yeah you right so she like so like you trying to be my john and i'm like huh remember guys i'm not trying to do that i don't know her like that okay so i'm like john dot dot as in boyfriend question mark and she said is that your definition of john lol and i said nah in my school i mean someone you talk to she said lol that's my definition too so, you know, we talking a little bit more. She's like, where you live? I tell her where I live and all of that. I asked where she lives. She told me where she lives. And then she was just like, LOL, I'll be over there by 12.30 on Thursday. Is that okay? Now I don't need the phone no more. I don't need the phone no more, all right? The phone is gone. No more messages, none of that. So yeah, two days later, bro. I kid you not. Two days later after that one night, boom, Thursday comes. You know what I'm doing on this Thursday? Or every day that summer, I was watching my brother. Yep, 
I was babysitting my brother. I, and I remember this like it was yesterday too. I will never forget it. So yeah, you know, I think she had summer school or something like that, you know? She was like, I'm on my way. Bro, I had cleaned up my room like crazy. Like my room was super clean, but can't forget. Let me tell you, <laughs> Ugh, this is so, I don't even, bro. Alright, so my room, like you see how you see how I got like my bed and stuff. I got posters on the wall and all of that. Bro, I didn't have none of that. Like my dresser where my TV is on was like right in where like where I'm sitting, it was right in front of me. And that's like basically what I was on my room. I didn't even have a bed. I had an air mattress. I had an air mattress. An air mattress with some sheets on it, bro. Like I kid you not. And that's because we had just moved here my freshman year and I did not get a bed until you know a while after that. So yeah, I was getting busy on the air mattress. So yeah, you know, she's coming from summer school and she texts me like i'm almost there all right so my room is clean all of that i took a shower all of that getting ready but here's the roadblock here my brother remember don't forget i am babysitting my brother i'm here in the house with my brother but it's too late to turn back now you know i knew this was gonna happen i just knew that my mom wasn't gonna be home that day nobody's gonna be home but my brother so i could sway my brother easily right got you y'all want to know how i did that all right, let me tell you. I just simply, you know, was like, yo, you want to watch a movie? And the movie I put on for him was Lego Batman. That's what I put on for him. Yo. Wait, they did it for real? Yes, our school did it already, yo. Oh, shoot. You're right, but I'm gonna text you, all right? Cause I'm I'm recording right now. That was Khadija, big head ass. When you see this, don't kill me, all right? All right, where was I? Okay, so yeah, I got him to watch the stuff and these goddamn firecrackers, bro. I don't know if y'all hear it, but it's getting me tight. So I got my brother watching the movie in my mother's room, which is on the other side. So yeah, my mother's room is on the other side from where my room is. Should I really get into detail? Should I really get into detail? Like the video right now. If you want me to get into detail right now no like right now go ahead pause the video real quick and like the video right now i trust and believe that you just did that right so i'm gonna get into detail so yeah she gets in the room i tell her you know take your shoes off you know sit down on my bed the air mattress all right you know that's that's one thing that was cool about her. you know she didn't care that i had an air mattress some other girl would have tried to clown me what matters is the job got done don't matter if it was on the floor, uh, air mattress, uh, a rock, it doesn't matter. The job got done. So we sit in and we, you know, it was kind of awkward for me. It was like, it was real awkward. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I didn't know, should I just get straight to it? Should I be trying to have like a conversation? Like, what, like, how, did, how does this go? Like, how, how am I gonna get this done? Like, where does it start and how does it finish? Like, I didn't know. I'm a virgin. So, you know, like, we were talking and I was just like, you know, how was summer school today? Like, I kid, I ain't know what to say, bro. Like, don't. I didn't know what to say. I was just like, how was summer school today? You know, we kept talking. We kept talking to the point of just like, you know, all right, how is this going to start? Like, just stop being around the bush. How is this going to start? So long story short, we get started, you know, start by, you know, getting a little smooch, smooch stuff. After that, you know, I pushed her back down on the air mattress, pulled her, thank God she had on shorts that day because, you know, I didn't have to go through pulling jeans down and doing all of that. I didn't have to, it was easy. <laughs> Yo, like, you know, now it's starting to like kind of replay in my head, like in the moment, like that was like, wow, like it's really about to happen, bro. Like it's really about to happen. So, you know, pulled the, uh, you know, her underwear down and all of that. And, you know, did the, Stuff. before that it was just like oh my god i'm looking at one i was like bro i never seen one except for on my phone on on the websites but i never seen one in person a real one and it was just like wow wow <laughs> i was protected i had my protection i was kind of nervous putting it on in my head i'm like yo this is really about to go down and it's about to go down on my air mattress bro yo it was an experience the the leading up to it was just like very nerve-wracking i finally put it on and then it's just like you know 
it's about to be go time so i enter and it's like do what you do do what you know bro like do what you see on all them websites so like this is your time your eyes have had enough experience so you should be able to do what you see now is the time to do this in person do this in real life this is real life this is a real life moment a milestone so i'm doing it i'm like I'm doing it for a couple minutes then you know we switch she gets on top and we go for like a couple minutes and then i felt it coming i was like <laughs> nah i wasn't i wasn't doing all of that but i felt it coming i was just like oh shit like that wasn't it though that wasn't it don't get it twisted that wasn't it so i say it was probably about like 10 11 minutes maybe uh maybe it was 10 11 minutes in my head but in real time i don't know maybe it was like four <laughs> i don't know nah it wasn't no damn four minutes don't don't do that don't do that don't laugh because it wasn't four minutes. Now I'm messing with y'all, but, but after that, I'm like, either way, you know, it just like, it can't end here. But the problem was, you know, me not doing this before, I didn't know how to like, you know, get again. Like, I didn't know how to get up there again. So, you know, she did something to get me up there and I got up there. So when I got up there, I got in again. So now this time it was, it was like for real i knew what i was doing like i felt like that first go around was like okay bro like you just broke out of a whole shell you know like when you're playing 2k and you reach a new rep and like they show like your, your previous rep like the glass breaks like it was like all right you just like your points just went up like you know what you're doing bro you're a professional now and i went professional on her bro i did so i was going pound town on her you know I'm not gonna get too descriptive of like what was like being said or like sounds or anything, but it was like, you know, I was doing my thing, okay? I was doing my thing. Would my dad be proud of me? I don't know, like, would you be proud? I don't know. I wonder how, like, I wonder how he's reacting to this. How are you reacting to this as you're hearing this, dad? Cause I know you watching this. I know you watching this. Mom, how are you reacting? I was going to pound town for like probably a few minutes. And she was just like, she just, she tapped out, man. She tapped out. She was like, no more. She couldn't do it no more. I ain't gonna lie. I was feeling like the man, bro. Mm, I was feeling like the man. I was like, yeah. In my head, I'm like, yeah, I just made her tap out. My first time, second go around, I will never forget the first words that came out of her mouth. You know, after she tapped out, this is exactly what she said. Virgin, my ass. And that right there always stuck with me because it was just like, you know, she said it in a way, it was like, you ain't no virgin. Like, you, you did not do it like a virgin. So that right there let me know like, like damn did i really just deliver like that on my first time i was like man like i was really feeling like the man but that was it that was it now that you know this story let me clear this up for you i don't think i necessarily enjoyed it like in terms of feeling i don't think it was necessarily the best feeling and i'm not trying to knock her it was pleasant in terms of me pleasing because i know i did a great job but in terms of me being pleased i, I wasn't that pleased I wasn't that one night of talking and all of that you know it led to you know i did it because like i was seeking you know having that experience i felt like i was at a point where i felt like i didn't really care if i did it with a girlfriend or not i just wanted to experience it and get it over with but if you ask me today i don't necessarily regret it but would i have rathered someone else someone i probably knew better yeah definitely after that it was just like normal to me like i wasn't i wasn't hyped up about it then my dad found out and then my mom found out the next day because my dad made me tell my mom my dad was telling me i know he remembers that night my dad was telling me like you know you got your whole life ahead of you you don't need to be doing that and all of that i hope you use protection but you know you don't you got a whole bunch of other things to worry about next day i had to tell my mom i told my like i was kind of scared to tell my mom my mom was like how was it like and i was like mom she was like what you was grown enough to do it now you can't tell me how it was i was expecting both of them to like have way crazier reactions to what happened like i thought i was gonna get my phone taken away my game taken away i thought it was gonna be a punishment all of that and it was way more lightly taken than i expected but i won't forget my mom was like you know now that you did that you're gonna have to be more responsible around here because you think you're grown i don't want to have to be the one to tell you to clean your room this and that you think you're grown you can do that on your own rhyming accidentally i haven't done that in a minute to this day like i don't have no issues with the girl i don't talk to her anymore and it's not that, you know, I, I won't talk to her. I just don't talk to her, you feel me? Like, I, she's she's probably busy doing her own thing. And it is what it is, man. And going back to my mom and dad, like, now that you've watched this, I, I, I just hope, like, I hope you left. I hope you took it lightly again. Because now that you know the details and you know how I got down, like, I don't know how you're going to take it. But you got to take it. You got to take it. But yeah, yeah, like, 
now that I look back at it, it's like I wasn't trying to be a dog and I wasn't trying to just, you know, focus on one thing. But at the same time, it was like, you know, she kind of approached me with one thing. So I was like, my mind was only on one thing. So when she started to talk about, you know, other things, my mind wasn't really on that. You already got me set on something else. So nah, like I'm really, even to this day, like I'm not like that, you know, I'm a genuine hearted person. Okay. I care about people. I probably care about people too much. Okay. But in the moment it was like, you know, okay, you presented me with this. So now I'm going to look forward. I'm going to try to get to it because I want to experience it. And it's crazy because the very same day that this happened, it was a family function. And my cousin that was there, the cousin that was best friends with Jessica, I was explaining to her what happened and all that. And she explained to me that she was the one who gave her my snap. And she was the one who was like, you know, get on that. Like, I didn't know. I didn't know. All three years of my middle school life, I did not have a confrontation with that girl in high school. It's just so weird. Like, I knew her, but I didn't know who I didn't really know her and it happened in high school but i hope you guys liked that video and if you did go ahead and give this video a thumbs up comment down below and tell me if you enjoyed it or not what other story times do you think i should do and if you ain't subscribed and you ain't part of the tribe i don't know why but do it right now all right go ahead and subscribe get me to a thousand subscribers a thousand subscribers 1k on the way and you know what we do tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend that they should tell another friend about shaw williams tv shaw williams tv we out